Clostridioides difficile infection is an infection that can grow in your digestive tract. It is caused by a type of bacteria called C. difficile or C. diff. C. diff infection can cause stomach cramps, diarrhea, fever, nausea, lack of energy or appetite, and even harm to your colon or intestines. C. diff infection can happen after you take antibiotics. It's more common in older adults who are in hospitals or live in long-term care settings. But more people are getting C. diff infection outside of these places. C. diff infection can affect younger people, too. C. diff infection can be hard to treat. Antibiotics don't always work, and C. diff infection often happens again. This is called recurrent C. diff infection. Antibiotics used to treat C. diff can also kill the good bacteria in your gut that normally fight off bad bacteria like C. diff. This means C. diff can grow back again when antibiotic treatment is stopped. The imbalance between the good and bad bacteria is called dysbiosis. Fecal microbiota-based treatments can help put healthy bacteria into your gut. These treatments generally involve putting microbes, or bacteria, from a healthy person or donor's stool into the intestines of a sick person, such as someone with C. diff infection. Fecal microbiota-based treatments are safe and work well in treating people with C. diff infection. They can even be very effective after a single treatment. Donors are carefully screened to make sure only healthy microbes are used. There are strict tests to make sure bad microbes aren't transferred. FMT, or fecal microbiota transplantation, is one type of fecal microbiota-based treatment for C. diff infection. This is often done with a colonoscopy, flexible sigmoidoscopy, oral capsule, or enema. There are also two FDA-approved fecal microbiota-based treatments to stop C. diff from coming back in adults. Researchers are studying what makes FMT work so well to treat patients with C. diff infection and are trying to find ways to improve it. Researchers continue to look at different microbes to treat C. diff infection and different ways for patients to use these treatments. They are also looking at using FMT and other microbiota-based treatments for other conditions, like inflammatory bowel diseases and irritable bowel syndrome. If you or someone you care for has C. diff infection, it's important to talk to a gastroenterologist about your treatment options. Visit patient.gastro.org to learn more about FMT and other digestive conditions.